Good morning and you are very welcome to my Monday messages and for those of you who don't know me my name is Rebecca and I'm a holistic health coach and homeopath and I use my skills to help support as many of you as possible in being as healthy as you can be physically, emotionally and spiritually and when we are as healthy as we can be in those three areas then we're much more able to live our lives as fully as we want to and on our own terms. So my Monday messages are part of my commitment to that. And I just pop in here each week, usually at 10 o'clock, um, to give you a focus, a theme, a simple tip, a simple practice for the week to help you to become more and more conscious of what's working for you and what's not working for you. So firstly, I should say this morning, you haven't gone mad. It's not 10 o'clock. Um, I'm actually popping in very early today um, because I have a diary clash and it's just something that I need to do at 10 o'clock. So um, apologies to anybody who is was wanting to join me live. Um, and if you are, then you're very, very welcome. Um Please, if you're watching the replay, you're, you're very welcome. And don't think you, you can't comment. You, you absolutely can. Please leave your comments um, below. I'd love to hear from you. And um, yeah, so today I wanted to share a quite a simple but fun um, relaxation, refocusing um, kind of learning method, if you like, um, a way of opening up and relaxing to help all of you who are homeschooling out there. And I was motivated to do that because I've had an unprecedented number of calls from clients of mine, parents, mums, mostly, um, who are finding the whole homeschooling thing kind of like the straw that's broken the camel's back, really, that um, the added responsibility, trying to hit schedules, trying to um, be a teacher when, um, you know, you haven't chosen to be a teacher, um, and managing the dynamic of stepping into the role of teacher rather than mum has really added to the stress levels and the feeling of overwhelm and um, all of those things. And most of the mums I've spoken to are pretty exhausted um, and triggered into lots of old stuff around their own schooling. Um, certain subjects, you know, might trigger uh, all sorts of things. So I've been working one to one with them over the couple of uh, the last couple of weeks and, um, you know, it is entirely possible to actually navigate your way through that with success um, when you've asked for help. So that's that's one thing I wanted to say. Um, but the other thing was that I, I thought this method would be very, very useful for you during the day to either to open the day and encourage uh, an openness to learning and to uh, doing whatever activity you're you're doing, or it could be used as a break, some kind of break, or perhaps at the end to transition out of learning and into into doing whatever you're doing next, or it can just be used as a meditation for yourself. It can be as long or as short as you'd like, um, but it is a bit of fun and it's really easy to do with kids. So. Um, firstly, I should say a huge thank you to my wonderful Qigong teacher, Pauline Russell, um, for teaching me this meditation. I think, is that Rosaline? I can't see. Oh, no. I'm trying to see who you are. My, I'm blind as a bat without my glasses. Um, Eileen, I think. Is it Eileen? Anyway, <laughs> you're very welcome. Um, so... What I wanted to uh, teach you this morning, and I don't know how you're watching this, but if it's safe to do so, then you can go along with me right now. Or you, obviously you can watch the, the replay and use it as a guide. So first of all, 
Well, actually, before we do that, I wanted to say generally, I want to encourage you to whatever you're doing in your in your scheduled day, make sure you have lots of breaks in there. Lots and lots of breaks. Um, there aren't enough breaks in the in the normal school day, in my opinion. And there have been lots of studies done on the efficacy of children learning when they're allowed to get up and actually move on a regular basis. So I would encourage for you as well, actually, that really every half an hour, every 40 minutes, maybe that you just have a quick break of up to five minutes to move in some way. So whether that's running around the room, running around the garden, running up and down the stairs, just jumping around and being mad for five minutes and shaking every bit of your body, just get your system moving, get your kids' systems going by moving. Um, And then you'll find that they're, they're more open to learning after that and better able to focus, hopefully. Um, So that was one thing I wanted to say. Um, And then this little method can help if there's kind of almost too much activity and you need to just settle and and refocus. So I would encourage you to get your kids and yourself to do this while you're standing up. Um, But you can do it sitting down if you want to. The important thing is to have your feet firmly connected with the ground. So um, be aware that you're planted and you could even actually encourage your children to think of themselves as firmly planted in the earth like trees, if you like. And the upper part of the body can move if it wants to, but your feet are firmly planted in the earth. So then Take your hands and hold them in front of your heart area, either in a in a prayer position or you can fold them over each other and just really make contact with your heart area. And then if it's safe to do so, obviously, then shut your eyes. And just really connect with your breath. And feel that breath moving in and out of your body. Feel your belly expanding with every in-breath and then contracting with every out-breath. And as you connect with that breathing, just feel your whole body relaxing, those shoulders coming down from from your chin your jaw, your ears, and just letting go of all that tension and holding. Then, as you breathe in, and I don't want you to force your breath, just do it naturally, whatever pace feels comfortable. As you breathe in, just imagine that with every in-breath, You're breathing in millions and millions of smiles and laughter and joy. Breathing it in so it floods your system, flooding every cell in your body, every organ in your body, every system in your body filled with lovely, lovely smiles. Think of all the happiness and laughter and smiles that you can bring in to your system. And as those smiles come in, they gently dissolve any tension or worry or negative thoughts or anything that you want to lose just for this next few minutes. And as you breathe out, you get rid of those negative thoughts and tension, aches, pains, anything. And breathing in all those smiles and laughter, jokes, becoming aware that you are smiling internally from your heart and smiling 
on your face. And actually, when your face is in the position of a smile, that is the most relaxing muscle formation that you can you can have on your face. So smiling away, giggle, laugh, whatever you feel like doing. Breathing in all those smiles, flooding your whole body from the top of your head, right the way down through your body, right the way down to the tips of your toes. If it helps, you could visualise a very happy colour, whatever colour you associate with smiling and laughter and happiness. And see that filling your whole body. And then once you feel that your whole body is full up, just enjoy it. A few breaths. See if you can pack a few more of those smiles in. Breathing in and breathing out. And then when you feel you're just one big, enormous smile, then open your eyes and come back to the room. And then maybe just shake out those arms and shake out the legs and you're ready to start the next part of your day, whatever that might be. So I hope you find that useful. Well, thanks for the heart. Um, I hope you find that really helpful. I, I love it um, because it's just, you can do it really quickly or you can do it, you can actually see it. You can work through every system in your body and see each system and each organ filling up with smiles. Um, oh, Olivia, thanks for joining me. And Olivia saying lovely and beautiful morning mo moment. Thank you. Love and blessings. You're very, very welcome. It's a lovely way to start the day, I think. Lovely way to finish it too. Um, but also a useful little method for if, if the attention is wandering and you just need to bring everybody back in and refocus them. So do let me know how you get on with that. I'd love to hear actually, especially how it works for you with different age, uh, ages of children. So leave me some feedback on that. It'd be very, very helpful. Um, again, thanks to Pauline Russell um, and her wonderful online Qigong classes, which I highly recommend. Um, and I, there's a link in the post with this video if you want to find out more about those. Um, if you want to find out more about working with me, then do click the link in the post with this video again, and you can book a free call with me there as well if you've got any questions. So I wish you a wonderful, peaceful, happy week. And as I've said in the post, do share perhaps one positive about homeschooling because it might help somebody else and it also helps us to maybe focus more on the positives rather than the negatives. Have a lovely week and take care of yourselves. Bye.